In this example, uh, we are going to look at the, the following velocity problem. Okay. So if a rocket is thrown upward on the planet Mars with a velocity of 16 meters per second, uh, its height, which is me measured in meters after t seconds, is given by uh, the, the function that you see there, okay? uh, which is a uh, parabolic function. Okay. So the first question is asking for um, they want you to find the velocity of the rock after one second. Okay. All right. So just recall. Okay. Remember that the velocity. Okay. The velocity function is the uh, first derivative. Okay, so we need to find the uh, derivative of, of our function with respect to t. And then we're going to evaluate that at one second. Okay, so h prime of t is going to be, um, we're going to take the derivative of 16t, which is 16, and then minus... Uh, we uh, we have 1.86 t squared, so we can apply the power rule. So we're going to get minus 2 times 1.86 times t. And then subtract 2 from 1, so that leaves us with uh, t to the first power. So this is going to give us h prime of t equals to 16 minus... 3.72 t, okay? So that is the velocity function, okay? All right, that's gonna, so we can go ahead now and evaluate this at one second. Okay, so h prime of one is gonna be 16 minus 3.72 times one. So 16 minus 3.72 t is our, at one second, okay, that's going to give us, let's see, that was going to give us 12.28 meters per second, okay. Okay, so the next thing is that we need to find the velocity of the rock when t equals a. Okay, so a is just a constant. All right. And, uh, that should be, sorry, I wrote 2.28. I'm sorry, I just saw that. That should be 12. Sorry. Okay. So to find the velocity of the rock when t is equal to a, so we already have our velocity function. Okay, because this is our velocity function, so we can just go ahead and evaluate that at a. So that is going to be h prime of a equals to 16 minus 3.72a. Okay. All right. Um, so that is the velocity function evaluate at t equals to a. All right. So the next uh, question or next part. Uh, and part C is when will the rock hit the surface? Okay. All right. So think about just think about the general idea here. Okay. Uh, we have uh, let's say looking on our axis. Okay. So let's this is so this is going to be h, and this is t. Uh, so in general. Our function, okay, we know that it's going to go through the origin because when t is zero, we get zero. All right, so it's going to go, it's going to have a shape like this, okay. 
all right uh, we know it's going to be facing downward because if you remember from pre-calc we have this is a quadratic with a negative the negative in front of the t squared term so that means it's going to be facing downward okay all right. so this gives you the idea of how the projectile or how in this case the rock how it's being um, uh, gives you the idea of the path of this for this particular object that's being thrown so so when will the rock hit the surface uh, so for that uh, we're going to uh, basically set the function equal to zero okay so when t for t equals zero that corresponds to uh, when the rock is on the ground okay okay so we're going to set h of t equal to zero okay uh, where zero is meaning that it's zero distance above ground okay all right so we have 16 t minus 1.86 t squared Okay, so we're setting our function h, so we're setting h of t equal to zero. So now we just need to solve this. Okay. Um, so we can go ahead and factor out t. So that's going to leave us with t times 16 minus 1.86 t equals to zero. So setting each of these factors equal to zero, okay, we're going to get t equals zero or 16 minus 1.86 t equals to zero okay so when t is equal to zero um, that corresponds to this origin right so we plug in t equals zero we get h is zero okay so we don't want to use that okay because that's that's the that's in the beginning with when, when t is zero okay so we want to find out when will the rock hit the surface okay after it's been thrown upward so we're going to use this equation okay so solving for this okay we're going to get 1.86 t equals to 16 um, divide both sides by 1.86 so we want to round this to one decimal place okay so this is going to give us approximately um, 8.6 seconds Okay. All right. So for the last part, uh, they want the uh, they want to find with what velocity will the rock hit the surface? Okay. All right. So we already have our velocity function, and we know from part C when the rock hits the surface. Okay. So it's gonna so the rock will hit the surface at 8.6 seconds. So what we can do is evaluate the velocity function at 8.6, okay? Okay, so we're gonna evaluate the velocity function at 8.6. Six seconds. Okay. All right. And so remember that we got 8.6 seconds from part C. Okay. So we're going to have H prime of 8.6. So that's going to give us 16 minus 3.72 times oops, times 8.6. Okay, so that's going to give us approximately, um, so we end up getting, so we have 16 minus 3.72 times 8.6. All right, so we get, uh, we're going to get minus 15 
0.992. Okay. All right. And that is in meters per second. Okay. All right. Okay. So meters per second. Okay. So again, the negative is indicating that the, uh, in this case, the projectile or the rock is going uh, is going downward. Okay. All right. 